What is going on everybody and welcome to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Sean, AKA Elite. And today I wanna to show you guys around the website called Futbin, which is a website that gives a bunch of different tools for ultimate team players. Now I wanna be very clear at the beginning of this video, to tell you two things. One, this video is not sponsored by Footbin. I just think it's a good tool and it's very important for you guys to understand how to use it. And two, Footbin is far from the perfect website to use. Uh, it is a very good website, but it has a lot of flaws to it. Um, player prices aren't continuously updated. So a lot of times you could be looking at a card that is completely different price than what it's listed. And a lot of times that falls into the squad building challenge categories where it'll show you the cheapest squad building challenge, but realistically it's nowhere close to the cheapest SBC to use. So there are a couple aspects to where you have to be careful. You got to think for yourself, but it is a great tool. And let me show you guys the different aspects of this website and how to use it. The first thing I like to use when it comes to Futbin is the market index. This is something that I use all the time to kind of see where prices are at in terms of the overall market or a specific rating or type of card. So if I want to search just icons or if I want to search just 83 rated cards or 86 rated cards or just the market in general, I'll go up to the top and I'll click on market and it'll scroll down. I can choose whatever I want to look at. So you've got a couple of different options, special cards in general. That's the combination of all special cards combined, OTWs, informs, headliners, everything, all the special cards. The index 100 takes the entire market and puts it together. That's where the market would be at. So if you looked at the index 100 and it shows you this 55%, it's generally a little bit high, but that's kind of average between, you know, 45 and 55% is a pretty average market. Once it gets above 55% or below 45%, that's when it's starting to take off in one direction or the other. And then it'll also show you what prices of individual cards have been. So you can see Luka Modric might have risen a ton over the last day or two. And along with all of these guys, Chris Smalling up 18%. And if you consider the fact that EA take 5% tax, you can kind of calculate that in with these percentages as well. You might want to take a look at John Oblock because he's down 30% right now in terms of what his price was recently. So if you take a look at that card and see what it's been recently, you might be able to make profit on that. And you can use this to your advantage as well. This little graph right here, it basically shows you guys where the market has been. Has it been up? Has it been down? Now, you can see that it shows you guys an actual index of 77.5 right there. Now, it's probably not as important to understand that number to you know, its core. And to be honest, I don't understand the number to its core completely. So we're just gonna avoid teaching you guys that in general. I mean, it's not that important. What is important, however, is understanding the percentages of the rise and drop between these numbers. So if you take a look at this daily graph and you look at the card uh, on you know Tuesday, March the 2nd, it was at 123.14. That's where the market was. That was the highest point of the year for prices on FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. But as you get towards you know team of the season, you saw how that dropped all the way down to 52.98. So overall, the market halved, more than halved. Like it, it literally dropped uh, to less than half of what the prices were uh, two months beforehand. So that's kind of what we use to our advantage. So when we take a look at, let's say the last week, right? We scroll across, you can see the market got all the way down to 70, but rose all the way up to 100. That's a 30% difference in the price. And if you were to buy a bunch of cards at 70,000 coins, sell those cards at 100,000 coins, obviously just a hypothetical example, you would be making 25K per card after the tax that EA take, which is great profit. So it kind of shows you guys when to buy and when to sell cards. Now, it's not as useful when you're looking at the index 100. That just gives you an idea of where the entire market is at. But if you take a look at the index like 83s, this shows you just 83 rated cards. And generally, especially as you get farther into the game, it's only SBC fodder cards because nobody's really using 83s too much in their team anymore. You don't have those Furland Mendes, which are kind of skewing the graph a little bit because you've got a combination of 83 rated SBC fodder competing with this graph at the same time uh, as 83 rated meta cards. And that could be a conflict of interest, right? You could see the 83 rated meta cards rising at the same time that the 83 rated uh, SBC fodder cards are dropping. So that's important to understand because if the market is dropping, but you also see that at the very same time, uh, there are meta cards for uh, 83 rated rising on the market and you see those individually, you say, wow, that means the SBC fodder is crashing because if the meta cards are rising yet this graph is still lowering, that means the SBC fodder cards are going down so much and it might be a good time to buy. 
So you can see these 83 rated cards uh, over the live graph over the last couple of hours right there. You can take a look at the days and you can see over time 83s continue to rise and you can kind of also see it's not a great investment to go for at the beginning of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. These cards, although the metal ones might rise a ton, SBC fodder 83s, they don't see a rise until really looks like the end of November possibly a little bit of a rise during the Halloween Scream promo, possibly the rise during, uh, it looks like Black Friday is the big rise on these cards, which is surprising, but I guess with those SBCs that drop during that promo, it isn't too crazy to think about. And then they crash again in December and then slowly rise throughout the year as SBCs become more and more evident. Um, so they're a good card to hold on to, but in terms of the percentage of rising, you're going to have to hold on to those cards for a long time to make profit. So I would wait until at least mid-November before you start picking up those SBC Fodder 83 investments. And I learned that just by looking at this graph. It's a very good tool. So make sure you're using the market index to its fullest. And if you guys want me to go more in depth on the market index, there's so much more to cover about it. I can do that in another episode. Just let me know in the comments down below. But let's go ahead and take a look at this players tab. If you scroll over to the players tab, it gives you a bunch of different stuff, but I like to just click the top one and then I'll set my filters from there on out. So it'll show you guys a bunch of different cards in the game. It'll show you from the highest rated to the lowest rated. You can sort by price. You can sort by whatever you want. A lot of times I'll use this just to see, let's say I want to look at man of the match cards. Um, and then we're going to sort that by price. And let's say I want to invest in the cheapest ones. So I'd probably uh, sort it low to high. You'll just click it again. And then I'll see the cheapest ones. Maybe I want to go ahead and pick up some Giovanni Reynas here as an investment. And this is just a good way to see all these cards. And you can insert, uh, insert it by any order you want. If you scroll across, you can also go by rating. Let's say I only want 81 to 85 rated uh, players within this filter. Uh, so it'll still show me man of the match cards, but it'll only show me 81 to 85 rated man of the match cards. And that's a good way to kind of sort your players like that. Now, a very similar way of using this is also by going to the purple SBC icon on the top, and you can actually search cheapest players by rating. This is very good for seeing what you want to use for SBCs. And it'll show you between 81 and I believe 92 or something. Uh, it looks like, oh, it goes all the way up to 98. It'll show you 90, uh, 81 to 98 rated cards, and it'll show you the cheapest cards for each rating. Now, this is where you got to start being a little bit more cautious because if you take a look at Ndidi, who's apparently the cheapest 84 rating on the game at 4.1 thousand coins, well, oftentimes you're probably going to get onto FIFA and you're going to search that Ndidi and he'll end up being 5.5 thousand coins. Well, there's two reasons for that. One of the reasons is because he was never actually 4.1K. The card got listed at 4.1K but got sniped, yet Futbin registered it as its actual price, which isn't necessarily true. That card was only on the market for a couple of seconds, right? So it really wasn't his actual price. It was just an outlier. And that card registered in Footbin, so it showed as the cheapest 84. And the second reason is because it's showing as the cheapest 84. You've got more demand for people going out and getting in DD. Let's say you just need an 84 rated to complete this SBC that you've built. So you'll go out and you'll look at Footbin and you'll say, okay, Ndidi is the cheapest card. Well, I go out and I buy this Ndidi for, well, it's 4.7 now. But I buy it, and now it's 4.8. And the next person sees that it's the cheapest, and it's 4.9 now. So it's actually 5.5 thousand coins by the time you look at it. And you're actually going to want to pick up somebody like maybe Ilicic instead, because he might be the cheapest at the time you're looking at it. These cards don't update as quick as you might want them to. So that's another good tool to use right there. Um, a couple of other things that you should definitely take note of um, is the import squad. Now, this is something that's been a little bit controversial in the past, and I'm not sure I've ever even actually used it, but you can actually import your club into Futbin, and it'll show you the value of each card in your uh, club. So if you have a bunch of silvers and bronzes, it'll say, hey, these cards in your club, these bronzes and silvers actually sell for a lot. You should go take a look at them, which is really cool. And it does help you out a lot. Sometimes they'll say, oh, this card's 10K when realistically it's 200 coins. But in general, you'll still find a couple of cards at least that you might not have known about in your club that actually sell for a decent amount. Now, another thing to look at is the squad building challenges themselves. Now, I don't like to copy the squads within Futbin. I use my own squads, and that's why I upload them to YouTube because my squads are not going to be affected quite as much as the SBC squads in terms of price and in terms of price fixing. Um, I make sure that all my teams are 
realistically car, uh, teams that you can't really price fix. They're cards that are in packs. They're cards that aren't bronzes and silvers. Um, I use non-rare golds rather than using rare bronzes when I can. Those are methods that I use to make sure it stays the cheapest, and that's not going to be the case for squad building challenges on here. So if you took a look at the 85 plus upgrade times 10, it shows you guys generally what price you're spending, and that you can kind of rely on. But when it comes to the individual squads, you might click on this thinking it's going to be 65,000 coins, but that squad, at the exact time you click on it, is actually 85 to 90,000 coins, and there are much cheaper options uh, as alternatives um, that you could have gone with. So instead of copying the squads directly, a lot of times I'll use this as a tool to see what the price overall is kind of looking like, and then also I'll see what other methods are people using to complete the SBC. That can be very helpful for the hybrid uh, nations, League and Nation hybrid, because if you take a look at some of these kind of SBCs like Puzzle Master, you can see it's a pretty tough SBC to do, and you can kind of get the puzzle completed by looking at where the links are. So I might not go out and buy Patrick Schick as my striker, but what I will do is I'll go out and I'll get three different players of similar ratings that play for the same club and are from different nations. You can see Czech Republic, Germany, and Chile right there. Well, I'll just go out and do that same thing, but I'll use Hoffenheim instead. And I'll go Munas de Burr and maybe Sebastian Rudy and another center mid instead of these three that might be a little bit more expensive because they've been inflated due to being in this squad building challenge on Footbin. So those are different ways that you can Kind of use it as a tool, but also take advantage of using your brain at this exact same time to capitalize and uh, make sure you're not spending too many coins. Um, the last one thing I did want to show you is uh, it also shows you guys the uh, different um, promos and uh, the popular player cards. So when you're looking at Futbin here, it'll show you cards that are being searched the most right now. And you can use that to kind of take a look at what are people looking to buy right now? What are the price of cards that people want to have in their team? And that can make a uh, decision for you on what you want to invest in. If people are looking at the Lorente 96 rated card right now, well, that means that a lot of people are probably going to want to use it in weekend league. So if there's like an 83 rated or 82 rated Martial card, that's like 5,000 coins. And while well, you start seeing it's getting searched a lot on Footbin and it's popping up in the popular players, well, you can probably say in a couple of days, once Weekend League gets started, that's probably going to go up in price. It's going to be a good investment. A lot of people are looking at it. So you can kind of just look at what people are interested in right here. It's really nice. In the current team of the week, you can also look at that, see the prices, uh, new players, anything added to the game, you can look at that. Um, all very, very good tools to use here on Flutben. Again, be careful with what you do on this website in terms of of uh, things that EA might not like. I know the import thing was kind of frowned upon by EA at one point. I don't know if that's still the case. I couldn't tell you, but it's something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm trying to make sure if I've missed anything to show you guys, but I think we've covered everything that's important. Um, maybe another thing to tell you guys is about the consumables. You can take a look at which position change cards are more expensive. You can take a look at which chemistry styles are more expensive. You'll see that obviously shadow cards are going to be a lot more expensive uh, than most of the other chemistry styles position change cards. You can see center attacking mid to center mid is always quite expensive. Those are things to keep in mind and uh, always easy to look at when you just go to flip in and take a look at the price and get a uh, idea on what they go for rather than going out and searching the transfer market and uh, adjusting the price every 200 coins and it kind of takes a while. So that's going to complete today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I really appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video. And if you did, comment down below, thanks gamers class because I was sent a ton of equipment by them uh, to make sure that our content over on Gamers Class and I'll be coaching over there is of the highest quality. But at the same time, it's going to make our YouTube videos and Twitch streams super nice as well. We got the new microphone, the new camera right there, the key light, the fill light, the backlight, all that good stuff. It's looking extra nice. So thanks Gamers Class for that. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.